In this video, I'll be solving January 2019, Paper 2, Question 5. Part A. A survey was conducted among 48 persons to find out what mobile network they use. The table below shows the results of the survey. Part 1. If this information is to be represented on a pie chart, what is the angle for the sector that will represent Ophone for 2 marks? Now, there are 10 persons who use this Ophone out of the 48 persons surveyed. So, I will write here, Ophone is equal to 10 over 48 multiplied by 360 over 1. This will give me here 75 degrees. Part 2. Using the circle below with radius shown, represent the information in the table above on a clearly labeled pie chart for 3 marks. Now, in order to represent this information in the table on a pie chart, we must first calculate the angles of the sectors for this data. So, I will write here, Wiretech is equal to 20 over 48 multiplied by 360 over 1. This is equal to 150 degrees. Digilec is equal to 12 over 48 multiplied by 360 over 1. This is equal to 90 degrees. Other is equal to 6 over 48 multiplied by 360 over 1. This is equal to 45 degrees. So, I will now represent this information on the pie chart. Part B. The incomplete table below shows the results obtained by 200 boys and 250 girls on the Spanish examination. Part 1. A girl is chosen at random. Determine the probability that she achieves a grade 1 for one mark. So, I'll write here the probability... A girl achieves a grade 1 and this is equal to now there are 62 girls who got grade 1s out of the 250 girls so I'll write here 62 divided by 250 this gives a probability of 0.248. Part 2. What percentage of the boys who took the exam achieved grades 1 to 3 for 2 marks? Now, in the question here, they gave us that 200 boys wrote the examination. And in the table here, we have 30 boys achieved a grade 4, while 8 boys achieved a grade 5, which means that the remainder of the 200 boys achieved grades 1 to 3. So, I'll write here 200 minus 30 plus 8. This is equal to 200 minus 38. This is equal to 162 boys achieved grades 1 to 3. So, as a percent, this will be 162 divided by 200 multiplied by 100 over 1. This is equal to 81%. Part 3. Considering the standard deviations in the table on page 18, compare the performance of the boys and the girls for one mark. Now, the standard deviation indicates how much the data varies from the mean. And in this table, the standard deviation is 8.2 for the boys and 6.3 for the girls. This implies that the standard deviation of the boys is greater than the standard deviation of the girls. This means that the marks of the boys are spread out further than the marks of the girls from their respective mean marks.